Creating photorealistic models can be very difficult, especially with more organic shapes. This is where we need to step outside of polymodeling or even sculpting and turn to a more optimal approach like photogrammetry. If that is something new to you, photogrammetry is the process of taking an image from every angle of an object and figuring out its exact shape and texture based on those images. There are ways to do that using a camera, your phone, a LiDAR scanner and each of those methods has its pros and cons. With all that said, let's see how we can create some nice pastry assets for our renders. For my use case, I rely on a handheld scanner from Creality. For anyone curious, the exact model is the Ferret Pro and you can check it out in the video description. A few of the reasons are that it transfers data over Wi-Fi, making it really easy to take and use anywhere. It works with all the devices I have, my phone, tablet and workstation, and the reason I prefer it to photogrammetry with a normal camera is that I can see the building of the model live and know exactly what I need to scan. The process is quite straightforward. Once the scanner is turned on, you can connect to it using Wi-Fi. You will get an indication that the scanner is connected in the mobile app and we can go into tuning the settings. I'm going to use the small object preset and base the scan on geometric landmarks of the object rather than texture. Now we can start scanning. I have my pastry set on a rotating board I got from IKEA for cheap and the scanner is set to the side on its tripod stand. I also try to have the object elevated a bit from the board using a small paper box. This will make it a lot easier to clean up. Once you've made a full rotation of the object, you can just turn it to another side and the third Pro will figure out the new orientation. Repeat that until you scan every side of the object. It should be completely green in the mobile app. Then you can continue to optimize, mesh and color map your model. Then you can directly upload it on G Drive or any file transferring platform you prefer. In the packed model, there is an OBG, a texture and a few project files. Let's import the OBG inside Blender. The first thing to do is center the object to the scene and scale it to a more manageable size. After that, we need to do a bit of cleanup. Just select and delete everything you don't need. Now that we have only the croissant left, we can align it to the ground and make sure it's the right size. After that, just apply scale and transform. There are also some weird looking shapes here and there. You can either delete them, then fill in the hole with triangles and relax the faces, or in sculpt mode, just use the smooth brush. This is a good start, but the model is still a bit unusable for Arquis. I would use Quad Remesh to get a much more optimized model, but you can use the default remesher in Blender too. To bring back the detail from the original scan, we need to bake a normal map and a diffuse. For that, let's unwrap the model. This is quite straightforward, just add a seam and hit unwrap. A few things I check are that the UV islands take as much space as possible and that there is a slight gap between them and the borders of the UV space. To bake the normal map, give the low poly a new material and add a texture node. Create a texture with the resolution you want and leave it blank. Then go to render settings and scroll down to the bake rollout. Select normal map, then enable selected to active and enable cage. The extrusion and max ray distance depend on the size of the model and how much different is the low poly from the high poly version. Then select the high poly mesh and while holding shift select the low poly too. You're ready to bake. If we take a look at the result, there might be some errors and they're quite easy to notice. To fix them, just switch to texture paint and using the clone stamp brush, simply paint them out. After that, make sure you save the image. The process for baking the diffuse texture is exactly the same. Just remember to create a new texture for it and also, once you select to bake diffuse, make sure you leave only the color option checked. The other two will bake in lighting information from your scene too and you don't want that. One thing I wish for this scanner to have is a slightly higher resolution camera to capture more detail in the texture, but that only becomes noticeable in close-up shots. To finish up the asset, let's go to the low poly models material and assign the diffuse and normal maps. Crank up the roughness and lower down the IOR. Pastry isn't very reflective, but it does have subsurface scattering. To change the color, you can tweak the radius. Just think of the three values as red, green and blue. 
The scale will determine how deep the light penetrates through the surface. It is also important that your model is on an accurate scale for this to work predictably. Once we save the model, we have a complete asset for our renders and it was made in less than an hour thanks to the City Ferret Pro Scanner. Check the links in the video description, subscribe for more tutorials and once again, thanks for watching.